Hello everyone, I hope you are doing good. So today I will discuss difference between set interval and set timeout. So let's get started. So to begin with, let me show you view. So this view I have created. So you can see on the left hand side, I have div for set interval and on right hand side, I have set timeout. So basically I'll be creating a counter you can say that will be incremented so currently I have set it to 1 so after this let me show you code so I have given title JS tutorial and after that there is div for set interval then set timeout and in the last there are some scripts included jQuery and bootstrap scripts so firstly I'll be working on set interval so let me give id to h1 that is let's say counter id so i'll be changing this h1 value that is inner html basically so let's go and create one counter function in our script so before body closing tag write script and inside that define function counter and let me just Take one variable before that let's say var value equals to zero and inside counter function write document dot get element by id that id will be counter id dot uh, inner html is going to be value and i'm going to increment this value after this i'm going to set interval on this function so write set interval counter and duration i'm going to pass is every second that is thousand so let's check in browser and refresh so you can see our counter is working it started from zero so our set interval is working fine so now let's go and move to set timeout let me just change value from zero to one let's start our counter from one and now let's go and give id to set timeout so copy from above and paste so just change let's say counter id2 for timeout so in script i'm going to define another counter for timeout so let me just copy same and paste so just let me write comment for timeout and change function let's say counter2 set in set interval counter2 and change id counter2 also change value and define value2 equals to one and last thing that is left is change set interval to set time out so let's go and check in browser so refresh and you can see set timeout counter is working first then set interval so let me just change timing for both so you can clearly see so let me just increase five five so okay i passed value in this but i have to pass value 2 that's why it's displaying 2 in set timeout so now let me change h1 text as well right now it's 1 1 and i'm starting my value with 1 as well so let me change that so also in my counter i'm writing console log so that i can show you which one is running first so write console.log set interval let's say executor and concat value in that and write same thing in counter to as well and change value to value 2 and set interval to set time out so in browser right click and inspect and go to console and refresh now so you can see both are starting from zero and you can see first one is set interval is executed then set time out and both are having one value and after this set interval is executed for two three so set interval is will you know increment its value and the reason for that is that set interval fire the same function again and again in intervals while set time out will only fire once and you can see it's not incremented it just executed one time so let me explain you what exactly is happening so when you load the page so first h1 is having text zero so that will be displayed and after five seconds both 
set interval and set timeout will be executed and like set timeout will see that five seconds are done so let me execute that and it will be executed only once like it will only execute once and set interval will do that okay five seconds are done so let me repeat this after every five seconds so I hope the difference is clear that when you want to display something after a period of time then you use set time out and you want something to display like in an interval of time then you will use set interval. So that's all in this video. I hope you really like this video. If you want me to cover any specific topic then let me know in the comment section. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.